Drugs, you know. I'm Isan, 30 years old. I'm a pharmacist. I supply medication to patients and review prescriptions so that all medications are supplied in a safe and effective manner. My job involves uh, managing the drug inventory to ensure we keep sufficient supply in the pharmacy for our operations. An outpatient pharmacist usually does these four tasks. We see the patient, I'll check the medical records uh, to make sure we have the most up-to-date medical records. I'll then check the medications. Is it suitable for him or her? Following that, I'll dispense the medication to the patient. I'll go through the side effects as well as check understanding and compliance to the medication. Lastly, there are days that I have to coordinate. I'll be the over in charge of making sure that all the processes mentioned earlier run smoothly. 10% of my time going to the back end doing drug programs and organizing forums and talks. What I like about my job is that it's fast-paced and I get to meet new patients. With each patient, there's new and different challenges. They may come to us with a bag full of medication, often unlabeled, yet uh, needing to be identified uh, correctly. Bruh, misconceptions. Yes! A uh, common misconception is that uh, pharmacists are nurses who pick and pack medication. I just say that's not true. A lot of our jobs have been automated. So we can really focus on reviewing prescriptions so that all medication dispensed are safe, effective in compliance with the treatment guidelines. There's a, a variety of specialisations that pharmacists can go to do in a hospital setting. I was exposed to different specialties. So like how a doctor actually has an ENT and oncology, the same applies to pharmacists as well. So in my career, I won't be stuck at one point. There's a learning curve. So 10 years from today, when I feel that I've learned enough about a certain discipline, I can actually request my internal transfer to another uh, section. I did an integrated program, so after six years, I went to take a pharmacy degree at a local university. At Tan Tok Seng, I did a pre-registration training of nine months, then after which I got my license and become a full-fledged pharmacist. In Singapore, it's also mandatory for pharmacists to undergo a continuing professional education program in the form of uh, participating in lectures, conferences, uh, courses, in order to renew our practicing certificate on a two yearly basis. I've always wanted to be in a healthcare and I've always wanted to know what to do when my family and loved one fall ill. So when everyone's lost, at least I have the knowledge required. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, I would say multitasking is a skill that will come in handy so that you can attend to your patient needs in a timely manner. You need to be patient to your patient, pun not intended. You need empathy. It's easier to help them when you understand them. This is why machines will not replace the human touch that pharmacists offer. It's not always easy to get a translator, so it will be good if you can speak more languages because a lot of our patients, they'll be speaking with Cantonese and Malaysian. By building a rapport, you will also give them more trust in you and you will be more accepting of what you have to advise them as well. It takes time and effort to be a registered pharmacist, but it's a job that makes a difference to others' lives.